Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Roussel and welcome to my Delphi programming series. In this video we are going to be learning how to create a memo dynamically. So, here, here, here I just have the basic panel and a memo. Let's quickly add a memo in design time. When we add a memo in design time, the, um, it will it's, it's created beforehand. But when we create a memo um, the, dynamically, then basically we have to um, Create, create, it, create it with code and all of these properties and events will have, will have to be set with code as well that's a big difference let's go and actually create a memo dynamically okay. so first let's start by creating a variable for it we'll call it the memo it is of type memo then we set then memo Let me create it and in a, in a bracket it wants an owner um, in the previous two videos um, about how to create a button and a I think we did it and an, and an edit component dynamically I used self here um, thanks to Dennis and v um, they basically just helped me a bit to explain this so basically the owner this is this is the owner and the owner is responsible for for destroying the, the object that is created dynamically basically you can see a difference between parent and um, owner you can um, pause the video and then, and then read this I um, um, v not send this to me over the whatsapp group so you can read this pause and read it ok so let's make the owner form oops frm home because this form should be responsible for destroying this 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 um, memo. So when we, so when the form is destroyed, this memo this memo will also be destroyed. Okay. So then memo dot. I should talk a bit. Um, what's it called? Um, slower. Sorry. And the parent will be the PNL parent. Of course, we want the uh, memo to appear on the panel. Then memo dot left. I can set it to hundred. Then memo, oops. Then memo dot top. I can set it top to let's say two hundred. And you can also set it a height of whatever you want. Hundred. Then memo dot worth 100 but basically just but I'm not going to be using this now I'm going to be um, let's comment this out it won't matter you can even leave it in because I'm going to let, let's comment it out okay I'm going to align it so I'm going to say get memo dot align I'm going to be aligning it to al top okay let's give it a height of I don't know how much 100 let's make it 200 to be safe 200 align to top and let's change the font size dot font dot size let's make it 20 and now if we compile it will error uh, what's the error let's see align and set okay Maybe I don't do that. Okay, just, just, just leave out the brackets. See so here the memo is created and we create another memo and another memo. As you can we have three memos here. Boom. And you can even write code for it like then memo one dot oops dot lines dot add um memo let's add let's add a counter. I count inti integer let's make this height 50 on dot I count dot to stream and here we can just increase it increase I count 
and I will see oops let just start by clearing it as well then number one door not lines oops daisy for clear okay let's not let's make the size a bit bigger not ten hundred as you guys can see I have everyone's art created here and when let me add a memo like let's add a memo cooking memo it also has events let's give it an hmm let's give it an um on mouse um, on mouse move on mouse no no let, let, let's just give it a normal on click event so when we click on the memo it will do something okay let's do that at the public add a procedure then memo click we give it a sender object let's go here procedure dot oops tfm home dot we choose then memo click and it just say show message um, sender as the memo dot and we select a text okay so every time we click on on a memo it will just show us the text that's quite easy and let's assign this to it in the one dot um, on click event we see that goes to the then memo click okay so now we can create plenty of memos and when we click on it it will display us the text which is memo 4 memo 3 memo 2 and memo 1 this is just basic, a basic example of how to create a memo dynamically uh, most of the components works exactly the same so yeah, this is how to create a memo dynamically and that's basically it for this video guys uh, thanks for watching please make sure to like comment subscribe and share if this if this video helped you in any way and i'll see you in the next video bye